Y'all know what time it is? It is time for us to celebrate date night with cocktails and conversations. Conversation? What are we talking about? We're talking about that blend tonight. Welcome back, family. Welcome back, Life at the Mountain family. Life at the Mountain. While you are here, subscribe, hit the like button, that and like be button. notified so you always invited to the cookouts. To the cookout, but we not date night. We don't want you to miss none of this. So tonight. Tonight. It's date night. We are enjoying some cocktails responsibly. If this offends you, we ask that you look away, look away, <laughs> look away. But if you're under 21, you cannot consume alcohol anyway. That's right. And we do ask, don't drink and drive. Please don't. So we got Bart out tonight, and just like Bart mixes our drinks and blends everything perfectly, we thought, why not talk about blending? So I want to talk about how we blend, baby, when we met and we came in. I had two children. You I had, had three. Three. Yes, and we had to bring them all together so that we could make this marriage and this family work. Mm. And um, y'all, it was hard work. It was work. It was work. And we just want to be transparent enough to let you know what we had to go through and some of the, some of the things that we did to kind of, I ain't gonna say ease, <laughs> but helped us to blend um, and get through this process of blending. So well, how did you feel when we first met? When it came to the children? I ain't got to tell mm. about me because I know I was everything. But. <laughs> How did you feel? How did I feel? Yes. Uh, well, to be honest, to be, be honest, honest um, I guess I was kind of in protective mode. And what I mean by protective mode, it was sort of like, okay, yeah, I know we were gelling good and, right. you know, late night conversations, talking about everything. Yeah. You know, still when it came to, at that time, my children, I'd still make sure that, in my mind, to make sure that they were still taken care of and they right. weren't being mistreated. Right. Uh, uh, and I, I guess, to be honest, I can kind of say my guard was still up. You know, it, it don't come all the way down, so, you know. And I think it's fair because if you really think about it, when you go into a relationship, I know we came in it, I came in with my children. And he came in with his my children. children. Yeah. And, you know, we, we try to drop that mentality where, you know, when you first come in, it's not, well, they're ours. Because let's just be real, it's not. I came in, these are my kids. If you do something to my kids, then I, we're going to war. And I'm pretty sure he was the same way. We didn't say it to each other, right. but it was obvious in our actions. And if we can help a couple, any couple with this, we'd like to say, verbalize it and say to each other, I'm just, I'm not there yet. And it's okay. Right. Um, we didn't have that conversation. It was in my mind. I know he ain't saying nothing to my sons. <laughs> Uh, I'm just joking. But I realized, I had to realize, if he loves me, he's not gonna hurt my kids. Right. And vice versa, I'm not gonna hurt his children. But you do, you're in protective mode. Your guard is up, because these are mine. I'm bringing my children. Right. You can love me, but I ain't like the way you look inside eyed and you said something, <laughs> and I ain't like it. And let's just be honest, well, we even do that. the tone, I mean, you know, still getting to know one Each another. Other, right. right. Mm -hmm. And her tone might, you know, could have been just honest as, uh, as it could have been. Right. And I, something like that, I could have took wrong, or she could have heard my tone. Now, wait a minute, mm -hmm. you know, uh, I don't discipline my children like that, right. my children. Right. So like I say, it was a process. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, I ain't, I ain't gonna say every day was smooth, but like I say, we like, did have those hard discussions and, mm -hmm. and discuss it and tried to, you know, fix what, you know, where we messed up. And we had to realize and that this was, I think, the key. We were in love. Right. Our children were not in love with each other, and they sure were not in love with us yet. So we mm -hmm. came in, you know, we're all excited because I love him and he loves me, <laughs> and we're going to bring these kids together, and uh, nope. Reality hit. <laughs> it hit quick. So we then had to realize that we had to build relationships with each one, each one of these right. children. So understanding that they're not in love with us means that we had to find time to spend with those children. Right. So I'm coming in with my two boys, and then he has his three children, and I'm saying his and mine right now, because we don't even do that now, but just stay with the story for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. And so when we're coming into that, I had to now realize, you know, he has two daughters and a son. 
I gotta find time to be that girl mom. I ain't no girl mom. You know, I've been with my boys and, you know, going out there shooting with them and playing and now all of a sudden I'm doing nails and my bond time with the girls was letting them comb my hair. Again, like I said, doing nails, playing with doll houses, you know, watching some favorite television program. But we had to do that and I had to do it without him to establish that relationship right. with those children. And my thing with, with all three of the boys, uh, they're young men now. Our niche was, I had to play John Madden football. Of course they know they couldn't beat me. That's but they would, tell you yeah, they would tell you different. Yeah, they would you different. But uh, I, I can recall an instance where we were sitting there playing and, and Michael Vick was with uh, Atlanta. Atlanta. Mm -hmm. But Michael Vick had muscles, you know, and I'm like, what in the world, why is I, I He got played, that's what happened. So yeah, they in there kind of doing all them codes. Beefing but, up, beefing but them up. But we had fun right. and, and we got to know one another right. outside of their mom right. being in that atmosphere. So I think that was key for me. And I think it's important to, to build a relationship and, and, and don't try to force it. Right. And that was the thing with us, we took our time and if, if we got pushed back, I would kind of pull back a little right. bit and say, okay, let me readjust. Because the thing we both said, I, I'm not here to replace your mother, right. not here to replace your father, right. Right. but we are to compliment. And you know, it's like you get like, what they call bonus parents and whatever the, the cliche <laughs> is. But you do, you gain that extra insight and that's what we were trying to build. And so that was where the interest came in because again, you, you sometimes have to step away from each other and spend time with that child and build that relationship as well. Yeah, you said something key and that's letting them know that I'm not here to replace dad. I'm not here to replace mom. Right. Uh, but you know, we did establish where I am the man in the house, in my house, right. and she was the lady in the house. Right. And you don't have to be disrespectful or, or kind of be uh, iron fist about that, just kind of letting everybody know, look, this is the rule, this is the rule in our home. And yeah. establishing the boundaries, right, like you said. Right, right. Because, come on, y'all, y'all know, if you have your children and they say, well, Tim said, I'm sitting there like, he said what? And the same way, because he'd be like, Daddy. And then he's looking at me side eyes. So we had to realize, wait a minute, these jokers playing us. So we I'm had good to, at it. they were real good at have us mad, <laughs> trying to sleep on the couch and everything, because we mad about some children. But that's another subject, too. We'll get to that. But for us, we had to realize that we, we need to talk. Right. We have to establish because our backgrounds are different. We're bringing all these issues from our past, and now we have these children. So we need to establish up front what's the game plan? How are we going to raise these kids? What are right. we going to do so that we have a family unit that blends right. well? And what what the chastisement look like? Right. You know. Right. For, for my wife, it might have been one way. For me, it's a whole different you know, way. Whole whole different level. Mm -hmm. So, but like I said, like she just stated, we had to have those conversations outside of the children. Right. And even when I say outside the children, even though we're in the same house, they still didn't hear our conversations. Uh, and sometimes we might have had to go to the car. Go to the car in the garage and, and get it way, out. You know, <laughs> them voices get to elevate. Yeah. We, you know, we kind of get that. And it wasn't worth being disrespectful. Right. We just, we wanted to make a, a our point. A point. Right. You know. And the other thing too is division when you say step. And we decided early on we were not going to use that word. That's so a lie. That's, yeah, we're not drawing lines right. in the sand right. saying, uh, you're my child, kind of, but kind of not. No, we establish up front, these are my children. Right. So when I say I have five children, I have five children. Right. And I, I don't say I have two biological and three yeah. stuff. Yeah. That's not what I do. Yeah. And so by doing that, I think it also put the wall down for them because now they felt inclusive and they felt right. like they were. Remember the time I got checked? By oh, he got checked one time because got checked, you know. he didn't want and, to. I, it's not that he was doing anything disrespectful. Right. It was he was trying to be respectful. But right. I, I'll let him. Tell yeah, the yeah. Story. Let me tell the story. <laughs> let me tell the story. Well, and, and like I say, just kind of keeping it high level. It was it was a point to where I was introducing all of the children, and. Still, it's early on in our uh, relationship, and I didn't want to be disrespectful, you know, well, I, this is my son, or, you know, whatever the case might have been. So when I didn't say that, you know, I got called out, well, you know, you didn't introduce me as your son. Now, Grant, a piece of me was was happy and overjoyed. I said, okay, but the other side of me, I said, okay, I just got checked, <laughs> and I had to let him, look, son, this won't happen again, right. you know, and, but, like I say, throughout the day, I mean, I was on cloud nine because what we were trying to build, uh, it was it was working. Right. It was working. What didn't happen overnight. Right. 
you know. And to, we're still, yeah. to be transparent, we're still blending. Yeah, it's it's, it's still a working. process right. because there are layers to blending. Another thing I want to talk about, and this is just so we can be a little transparent it's without telling. Yeah, without telling all of it. <laughs> but when you're blending, also there are external pieces that you have to consider as well. The elements. So. We know what we can control, that's what's in our home. Right. But when you have children, you got two here, three here, and they go to their parents or, you know, grandma, poopy house, whoever they're going to, there's a different set of rules there. Right. And so what we had to do is establish what all we can control and what goes on here. House. Right, and right. so what goes on over there, and you have to get back and bring them back together and realize you know where you are, right? right you're here. So those kind of things too are conversations you have to have. And being consistent. Consistent right. is another thing. Right. And not trying to be controlled by those external. Right. Because, you know, we like to think that if we've moved on that the person that we had that child with is happy. And sometimes that's not the case. Right. And in a lot of relationships what happens is the child is then used as a pawn right. or and then not knowing. So we vowed to go ahead and say, you know what, we're establishing our rules here and we understand we can't control that. And I think when I talk to a lot of other couples that are blended, their fight starts coming when it comes to the external. Right. And I try so hard to let them know that's a fight we can't control. Okay, and you're not gonna win that. You're fight. not. You're You'll be good. fighting it till they're 18, 20 years old. God put me over this house, not, not everybody else in right. outside of mine. And I think once we realize that, Okay, well, we can't control the environment. Even if you're coming in and you're still coming in wrong, okay, it's time to have a conversation. Let's check that. Let's hey, check conversation's that. okay. I'm not, I'm, I don't do it the whole time out and all that. And, yeah. You know, but they did have a voice. So right. we try to get them to, uh, okay, express how you feel, you know. And and a lot of time, like I said, it still was growing that relationship right. to, well, okay, well, he ain't trying to, he ain't trying to run me like that. Right. Or she ain't trying to run me like that. But, you know, I think once you kind of, open up and allow them to open up. It feels. Yeah, feels. start filling the gaps on a lot of stuff. And the piece where you talk about they had a voice, well, we did this thing where we would have conversations with them. <laughs> and so what we would do is, when it was time for family talk, we put these two chairs. Two chairs. <laughs> in front of the couch or two. whatever. And they knew, they came in, they saw those two chairs, they were like, oh, oh Lord. <laughs> it means it's time for the talk versus like who got in trouble, who did what. But that was our opportunity to have a boy, everybody have a voice and to speak on how you're feeling. And some people might say, oh, that's so mushy, oh, that's so whatever. It worked for us. Right. And I'm not knocking how anybody else has blended, but when I get asked so many times, what did you do or how did you all make right. this work or working, that was a big piece of it. These children, like our oldest one's 33, or we'll be 33, and <laughs> They still remember those talks. I think that's the thing we laugh about all the time when they come together because I think that is what sealed the deal. Another layer with that, we had prior conversations yes. before the two chairs. Right. We had to be on one accord. Right, we didn't just wing it. Regardless what we had to, right. to discuss, mm -hmm. we had to be on one accord because right. if our children would have seen us bickering or or one trying to play this one and one trying to right. play that, we just made sure that that wasn't even on the table right. at all. And that comes with maturity. Right. Um, you know, I, I like to think that everyone's there, but everyone is not there. Right. But try to get to that point where you and your spouse can have a conversation about, okay, this is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to talk about. This is the rules of our house. Right. And understand that the rules he had when he was growing up, the rules I had, may not be suitable for our children. So we right. have to tweak. take the good and the bad, tweak it, you know, spit out the bone, yeah. and eat the meat, whatever it is. <laughs> That's right, honey. <laughs> That's what it is, okay. <laughs> I didn't want to mess that up. But we have to do that, and that establish what we did for our children. Right. Um, and like I said, it's still a working process. We, we, we're working through some things still, and I just love what, what's come. I, if you'd asked us this 18, 17 we did, we years ago. We didn't see ago, where we at now. We didn't see this, and I didn't understand, but what I see now is the work that we put in, right. and now you see get the, the benefit of it, right. the fruit of it is what right. it is. Right. And you know, when we came to the understanding that I know he's not gonna hurt right. me. And, and, and by not do, hurting yeah. me, that means he's not gonna hurt anything that I love. And if chastisement did come, I don't know now, I say, okay, well, whatever was told to you need to be said to right. you. And, and it's not to, kill you but it's to, to, to grow make you. you better right right 
And that was the thing too, you know, when the chastisement did come. Oh yeah, it was a little trying to play. The, the tune said, or my daddy said, and you know, and I'd be like, wait a minute. He probably did, but, so you have to stop for a moment. So I challenge you, listen to your children by all means, but pause and think about what they're saying and ask questions before we jump to conclusions. And I think that's what we did. We stopped jumping to conclusions. Because initially, I'm like, he said, what? You know? And, Let me know about right, like, what? <laughs> I don't know about this one right here, you know? But I'm grateful. And, you know, where we are now, our children are grown. We have a, one of our children who's married. We have grandchildren. Now there are layers to the blend. Right. And so we want to spill over into their lives, into our grandchildren's lives, right. that, you know, this blending thing works. Because now not only we deal with our blend, now that they have to go to their other grandparents and all this, there's layers to blending. Right. It doesn't stop. It don't stop. It doesn't stop. So we just wanted to drop by Got our little whiskey sours tonight. Oh, I didn't even touch mine. Hey, when yeah. the conversation is good, why well, take a sip? <laughs> and we just wanted to sit back and just kind of have this conversation and kind of talk a little bit about our blend. We will talk more about our marriage because um, when we first got started, you know, along with the blend, it put some pressure on our marriage. So we'd like to share that because anything we can do that can help other couples, to me, is a blessing and be able to, to use our testimony right. to help another couple. And if y'all want to hear something, just kind of put in the chat yeah, let us know. a conversation that you would like for us to have or we can kind of dialogue going back and forth. I think that'll be good. Mm -hmm. So, with that being said, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> until next time, I hope that this channel inspires. Yes empowers, entertains, and keeps you informed. Love you, family. Be blessed, y'all. Be blessed.